Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another Q&A for you guys on the Arrowverse as a whole. So obviously, before we go ahead, be sure to leave more questions uh, for these Q&As in the comments section down below as we head up to the beginning of the seasons. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be uh, a lot more questions being brought up by certain releases like promos and stuff like that. So yeah, be sure to leave any questions you have around any of the Arrowverse shows down in the comments section down below. And uh, I might pick your question for one of these videos. And of course, uh, I know people don't like me saying this, but if you could leave a like on the video, it'd be awesome just to show your support as we lead up to the uh, new seasons. And I guess subscribe to the channel if you're new. But let's not muck around. Let's jump straight into the question. So the first question comes from Anything Really. And he or she asks, uh, do you think Rainbow Raider, Weather Wizard, and Kyle Nimbus will return? Um, Weather Wizard's probably the only one out of those three that I could see coming back to the show in some way. We did see Weather Wizard return in Season 2, and he took on, uh, he was with the Trickster and Captain Cold, I guess, before, I think Captain Cold, like, betrayed them both and held Barry out, I think it was. Uh, I think that was the last time we saw him. I think they might have referenced him a couple of times, but that was the last time we actually physically saw him. Now... I think we could see him again. It just really depends if they can fit him in. Like, really, because if he's going to show up, it's going to be a filler episode. So it just really matters if they want to dedicate a filler episode to Weather Wizard or have him involved. But it would be pretty cool to see him back because he is one of the rogues uh, that the Flash does face. Question two comes from Stephen Henderson, and he asks, do you think the Wave Rider should be upgraded or upgraded for multiversal travel? And my answer to that is, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. It might already have it in its system because one of the more important things to remember is, remember, I know they haven't like said it's like full on canon, like, oh, what Rip Hunter said was true. But remember when um, uh, Rip Hunter says like he's seen um, Men of Steel die in Dark Knight's Fall or something like that in one of the trailers or promos for Legends of Tomorrow. So technically he's saying that he knows he's ba Batman or Superman or Batman and Superman. So... We know that at least Superman isn't going to exist on Earth-1 because if he was, he would already be there. And same with Supergirl, or at least Superman. So, yeah, I think it will eventually have multiversal travel. It would add a completely different dimension to Legends of Tomorrow, uh, depending if they get Season 4. Because I think in Season 3, they're still going to focus on time uh, because of what happened at the end of Season 2. But in Season 4, they could end up end Season 3 with them like going through the multiverse and landing on a different Earth um, where they see like doppelgangers of people they know and they have no idea who they are. So I think in season four, it would be an awesome addition to Legends of Tomorrow if they had like multiversal travel aspects to it because I think the Wave Rider would be able to do it. I, th I, I just think it would, don't you? Question three comes from Da Boss, Hero Official, and he asks, uh, do you think that the rogues could appear as secondary villains in season four? Now. Leading up to season four, like it might have been just after season three ended when they were talking about the who the villain could possibly be for season four, even though in at the end of season three they did really heavily hint at Clifford DeVoe or the Thinker, the rogues were always chucked up because one of the common well not theories but thoughts on the flash is will we ever get a season where the rogues are the villain villains, like the whole team of rogues, or at least maybe a decent handful of them will be the villains. And we haven't got that yet. Yet. Remember that. Yet. But this season, we do have Blacksmith coming onto the show. She's going to be first appearing in episode four or five. And in the comics, Blacksmith, Blacksmith sorry, is like involved with like the new rogue, sort of leads them. And from the description that they've given to the character of Blacksmith, it's almost like she's, um, like she's in the black market, but it almost seems like she's dealing out metahumans to do hit jobs and just work for people instead of like you know, uh, selling guns, which would usually be sold on the black market or various weapons. So this could be seen as like a form of rogues. Um, if they want to do that in the season, they did say that she's a recurring character. So I don't know what they're going to do with the character in regards to that, but there definitely is a base to build on from there. If they do want to do something where it's a, like sort of like a rogues team as secondary villains for Barry and team flash in season four, but it's hard to tell from now because blacksmith just might be this like side character that's like an individual that Team Flash need to take down rather than a leader of a new sort of rogues team. Question four comes from Flash Maniac and they ask, do you think that the Music Meister is going to uh, appear again? Sorry. And then in brackets, he says, not in a musical. Um, probably not because there was big issues around the musical. Like why do they call him Music Meister? Because 
he didn't really do anything musical that the other people could have seen. It was only like Barry and uh, Kara. So that was a bit weird. Um, I think that if they did another musical, I think he would have to be like the antagonist. Like he wasn't really a villain. Like he was just more of like an antagonist. So I think he would have to be the antagonist. I don't know who they could really bring in that could, you know, set up a musical crossover. They have said that a musical crossover will not be happening this season because the one that we saw last season was like, had been planned since season one. And obviously Supergirl being added to the Arrowverse, I guess, changed their plans slightly, I guess. They could have been different. It could have been Flash and Arrow that were having the musical crossover. Who knows what they would have done there. But I wouldn't, don't, don't expect a musical crossover this season if even next season. Like I think it might take a couple more seasons to get another one going um, because it was a fun episode, but it was really poorly placed in both in all well, the flash because it had nothing to do with Supergirl apart from the last like 30 seconds of their episode it, with the flash. It ruined momentum with that at the end of the season for flash and the flash was already struggling with momentum at the end of season three. So if they're going to do it again, put it like really early in the beginning of the, of the second half of the season or put it like, episode four or five at the beginning of the season. Like, don't have it so late in the season where it just cuts out momentum for The Flash because it was one of the issues that Flash season three faced towards the end of its season. Question five comes from Colin McMartin and he asks, uh, what villain do you think's going to appear next season on The Flash? Now, I have stated before that obviously the first three seasons were speedsters. They wanted to change it up in season four. I think it's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out in season four with Clifford DeVoe or The Thinker being the villain just because, you know, he's not a speedster. It's going to be more about Barry's, you know, mental uh, abilities, if you want to call it that, uh, in regards to taking down uh, Clifford DeVoe as well as the rest of Team Flash helping him out. Next season, I think they'll go back to a speedster villain or like a very overpowered metahuman uh, just because, well... I don't think they could do it two years in a row with just like a, um, like even though Clifford DeVoe isn't technically normal, but you know, a non like really powerful person in regards to like, sh like f their physical nature. They would need to go back to something like that. Most likely a speedster. Uh, I've got a question here where I'm talking about someone that could be the villain next season, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, but yeah, probably another speedster or just someone very similar to that. Like they could do Cobalt Blue. I think it's, that would be an awesome thing to do, Cobalt Blue. I don't know if they're just sort of scared about doing it or maybe they're wondering about the availability of a certain actor to play the part. Um, but yeah, Cobalt Blue would be pretty cool to see. I would like to see that next season. I've wanted him since like really season two. Uh, but yeah, but let me know who you would like to see as the villain for next season because I'm interested uh, to see what everyone else thinks. Question six comes from Inferno Films, and he goes, do you think Aquaman will ever be in the Arrowverse, or Aquaman? Like, people always get up me because I say Aquaman. It's just how I pronounce it. Like, I know other people that say Aqua instead of Aqua. Deal with it. Aquaman. 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 Uh, but yeah, do I think that Aquaman will be in ever be in the Arrowverse? No, probably not. Um, but if you... There's a deleted scene from season one episode one i think it's from the the pilot and um joe like because barry had you know been disappearing and stuff like that and it was like because this pilot for the flash is set right after barry returns from the arrow when he appeared on arrow in season two so like joe's wondering like where have you been you're always disappearing and then he mentions that barry had gone off to see try and find a guy that could talk to fish like that's an aquaman little easter egg so I think that's all we're going to get there. They do like drop little Easter eggs and stuff like that. But I think that's the closest we're going to, we're going to get to Aquaman being in the Arrowverse, unfortunately. Question seven comes from Scully. And this is what I was referring to before in regards to the villain. He said, uh, he asked, might I say, who do you think Godspeed should be? So yeah, Godspeed is a candidate who could be the villain next season on The Flash. A lot of people want him just because he's been uh, in the DC Rebirth recently. Um, obviously, in the DC Rebirth, spoiler alert, I'll give it a couple of seconds, he ends up being August Hart, who was like a co-worker of Barry's, um, who had some issues in the past, well, not issues in the past, but things similar to Barry, I guess, happened in his past, and he takes up the Godspeed mantle after getting powers and uh, tries to get revenge on that. He wasn't necessarily a villain, he's more of like an anti-hero, um, because I think they actually refer to him as a vigilante, because he wasn't really doing things that were necessarily too villainous. 
But on the show, they could do that. Like, that'd be an interesting angle to go, go with because season one, Airbot Thorn, evil. Season two, Zoom, psychopathic evil. And Savitar, just like broken evil. So they're all evil, those three characters. We don't know what's going to happen with Clifford DeVoe or the Thinker in season four, like what his like, character arc will be, what was his past, what made him do what he's doing at the moment. But with Godspeed, they could do an interesting angle where he is basically just a vigilante that really just takes it to the next level where Barry sort of needs to stop him. Um, but yeah, I think Godspeed would be an interesting villain to do. Who should be him? Well, I don't think they should do August Hard because that would really just kill any surprise. So they might just choose another character um, with similar, uh, similar elements uh, and similar character traits to August Hart from the comic, and then he can end up being Godspeed. And I'd be very interested to see how that Godspeed suit would look on the show, because it looks really cool in the comics, so how would it look on TV as well? So yeah, Godspeed would be pretty cool to see, but who should be him? Just someone with similar characteristics, but not actually called August Hart, because they'd just give it away straight away. Like, that's why they kept the whole Hunter Zolomon thing, in season two of The Flash until the back half of the season because as soon as the name Hunter Zolomon came around, everyone would have been like, oh, well, Hunter Zolomon is Zoom like in the comics. Question eight and our second last question comes from Brick Warriors Entertainment and he goes, do you think the three upcoming DC TV shows of Krypton, Titans and Black Lightning will be good or not? Um, Titans, I don't know, Titans, like the only, like, all of them, like, there's... Yeah, I'm positive about them, but there is, like, some worry about them as well. Black Lightning needs to be set in the Arrowverse. I just really don't know if it would keep ratings if it's set outside of them. Because there's a lot of TV shows and people like to watch things that are set in the same universe. So, hopefully, Black Lightning is set in the Arrowverse because I do think it will help its ratings. You'd have to think it is wild to be on the CW if, if it wasn't in the Arrowverse. It'd be strange. Titans, I'm very positive about just because, like, they're dealing with very popular characters and a very popular basis. Like, Teen Titans, I watched it when I was growing up. I'm sure a lot of people did as well. People might watch Teen Titans Go Now, if that's your thing. Um, so, yeah, Titans, I think, will be handled pretty well and very carefully just to make sure it's done well. And Krypton, I think, will actually be probably the best out of the three. You might think that's surprising, but it's set in the DCEU, if people don't know that. Like, so it's set in the same universe as, like, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, uh, Wonder Woman. It's set, like, you know, it's the prequel to Man of Steel, essentially. Um, so that's why I think they're going to handle that carefully as well. They're being very careful with what they released so far, which people say it's all they're nervous about it. I just think they don't think... I just think, sorry, that they don't want to release too much. And some of the characters are going to be on there, like, Adam Strange got confirmed, Brainiac's going to be on there, uh... I I don't know if it, I think they said Doomsday is going to be on the show as well. So they're doing a lot there. It looks pretty cool and I'm excited to watch it. Um, but yeah, all three I'm positive about. But I think out of, out of the three, Black Lightning is the one I'm most worried about if it's not set in the Arrowverse. And question nine, our last question comes from Robert Charlton. And he asks, do you think at the start of episode one of The Flash season four that they will have Wally West doing the voiceover? And so what he means by that is like, you know, at the beginning of the episode, how it go like, my name is Barry Allen. I'm the blah, blah, blah. My name is Oliver Queen for five years, blah, blah, blah. From what I can tell, I think Iris is going to be doing it. Like you, you think it would make sense if Wally was doing it, but from the trailer, you know how they have Iris doing the narration. I think that's what, gonna, what they're going to do. Well, I think that's going to annoy a lot of people. It's making me roll my eyes a bit because Wally should be doing it. Like Wally has technically taken the mantle of the speedster of Central City. He should be doing it, but they're probably going to make Iris do it because, I don't know, just because they want to, I guess. So, Wally should do it. It would make sense if Wally d did it. I don't. It doesn't make sense if anyone else is doing it, but for some reason, they'll make Iris do it because that's what they do. So, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like on the video just to show your support for the channel and the video as well. Be sure to leave any other questions for these Q&As in the comment section down below. It'd be much appreciated as well as subscribing to the channel if you are new. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.